Hey, I'm the Decathlon Gamer, and this is the Road of the Record, where I work to achieve mastery of 10 games in a hunt for the best score of the Decathlon. If you'd like to see, remember to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Let the games begin. This is Dirt Rally 2.0. It's episode 17 in our career mode, and we are about to wrap, and wrap up season number 2 with the final event in the Rallycross portion of our season. So we've done two rally seasons, we've completed one rally cross season, and this will be that final event this year to complete our second rally cross season. All right, so we're ready to get that final event underway. Uh, we are heading to Sweden for this one. Joker a little bit wider around the outside. Looks like most of this race is on tarmac, which is going to be excellent for me if that is the case. It looks like we have a couple dirt sections. It's hard to tell from the overhead view here, the satellite view, but it does appear that the majority of this race is on tarmac. Which will be good, because if you've seen the last few episodes, the cross cart that we are driving is super, super light. And it has tremendous acceleration because of how lightweight it, that it is. But the rear end has no stability whatsoever. You cannot even feather the gas in a corner without a serious threat of losing the rear end. An instant loss of rear end. I mean, that, it, there is no saving it once it's lost. So, uh, let's see, we've got a short right-hander. Hey, 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 I was looking at that map. There we go. Uh, tough left-hander, a little bit of a right-hander. The Joker is going to be the outside on that one. Left, right. Little chicane, but it looks like we should be able to go flat out through there. Night hand, uh, 90 degree hairpin to the left, but it's pretty wide. And then one tighter corner and another 90 degree hairpin. Pretty easy track, that I, I hope, you in this car. You only need to take if there's enough tarmac, you it, you'll get a time penalty. We'll be in good shape. Make the most of practice, get some joke laps in too, so we can see the time. Okay, right hander coming up first. I can't see terribly well in this car. Okay, a little wide there. Okay, there's the joker to the right. Not wanting to take that one yet. A little jump there. Onto the dirt. Oh, I had a, a full art. Yeah, I can see. I So this section right here, I've got to get off the gas and just coast through there. Okay, here's that tight hairpin that's not... Okay, back onto the dirt. Let's let off a little bit. Just coasting through, coasting through. Get back on it somewhere around there. Can't touch the uh, curving there, and that should be back around at the beginning. That's a short lap. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Got to do more there to take some speed off. I can accelerate once I get back straight. Got to coast through. Yeah, we're okay there. Yeah, this track will be okay. Because you can <laughs> still accelerate on tarmac. It's here where I've got to be careful. You get back onto the tarmac and then we can retouch. Oh, that is good. Woo! That's not good. <laughs> uh, that's just misreading the track more than anything. So hopefully that's a mistake I will not make again in the future. Oops. 
still not getting that one figured out just yet. Gotta work on that corner. Off the gas, off the gas! Still almost lost the rear end. Even not on the gas, that was, that was front end stability, that was oversteer. Partially because of the pace. I didn't even see where the turnoff for the Joker was that time. Off the gas, off the gas. I'm gonna have to be careful on speed on that section. I gotta find it somewhere. Just a little while. There's a lot of time to find for me still. I gotta get used to this track. And I'll figure it out the stability piece. Okay, this time we're gonna take the Joker. Okay, that's gravel. It's okay coming out of that Joker, so it's not bad. Ooh. See, that just a little dirty was all it was there. And I touched the gas and it went around. And that was on tarmac, just a little dirty. I lost the rear end, so. So I'm talking about how unstable this thing is. It's so easy to lose it. But it's much easier to lose it on the grass, on the gravel, the dirt, whichever it is you're, you're getting race by race. speed off now that I'm hitting the corner before that properly. Ooh, that's, that was a downshift that took me around there. The downshift changes the gearing, puts a little pressure on the wheels. That's uh, something I'll need to worry about not downshifting through that corner. I saved that one, but it was close. Okay, uh, definitely getting better, definitely getting better. Uh, I don't know quite if I'm there yet. I don't know if 49 is enough, if I'm going to have to hit that consistently. But I, I know that I'll be much more competitive in this race. I'm still getting used to this track a little bit. I'm going to take one more and get out there and, and hope we can start getting below 50 on a more consistent basis. inquiry. There's no corner cutting. <laughs> Not sure why you would have an inquiry on that one. That corner is a little bit tricky, even without being on the gas. Just coasting through there. It'll be a danger corner, I think, in races where I run the risk of losing it, even without doing anything that would cause it normally. That kind of that back mostly straight area, I and mean, you got a few light corners in there where you definitely want to keep speed. And here again, trying to lose that back end. You got just that little bit of elevation change, a little bit of drop. That wow, was much smoother through there. I don't know if the pace was. Like where it needs to be. Coasting through, coasting through, back on, off, nice and smooth, good. Okay. Forty-six. Oh yeah, yeah. Now we're getting a little too fast. Didn't scrub off quite enough, but. Still recover quickly enough. Hello, Bloods. You're my friend. I just 
missed you so much. Ah, there's that turn again. That's that turn where it... Luckily, I haven't had, you know, the major spin-outs through there, but... It's a very uns... That's something I don't want to do. <laughs> Just coming through on the tarmac and losing the rear end. Pushing it too hard through that corner. It's still unstable even on the tarmac, but it's it's got a certain amount of trust that you can put in. But it, there's just so much speed coming off the, the rear end, the acceleration with so little weight that this is this is the car that can go around pretty easy, really any time. It's just the dirt. It's always a threat. It's a constant threat. Tarmac. More of a minor threat. Coast, coast, coast. Forty sixes. I think those forty sixes are going to be pretty competitive times. Joker still. Just forgot. Oh, yeah. Touch, touch the gas on the dirt there. Can't do that. I've got to just coast through that section. Don't screw that one up in the race. No! There was no gas. I was not on the gas. Come on. It's obvious where my tricky areas are going to be, and I still haven't resolved it heading into qualifying, so... This first qualifying or two could be problematic. Getting a lot smoother in other areas on the track, and I think we'll be fine overall. I could be winning, so I think those 46s could be really good times. I think we're going to see a lot of 47s and 48s. But 54s, 56s... 51s aren't good enough, so I've got to take out those mistakes, and I could be up there. Okay, repairs. What do you need? Oh, gearbox ready to go? Sure. Body work? Sure. Dampers? Bring it on. It's 194 credits. We could afford that. We have the time. Car's good to go. And let's get to qualifying session number one. 309 in four laps, so 45 seconds is what? What would 45 seconds be? A minute and a half to 30? No, no, wait, 45 seconds would be three minutes for four laps. So, yeah, 40, that's 45. Uh, yeah, two onto that, 47 seconds. Right? That's 308. So 47 a lap is 308. So I don't even need to get to 46s to, to be in first place overall. So I don't need to push it crazy hard. I can, I can win this event if I can keep it clean. I can win this entire race weekend. I can win every qualifier, I can win every race, if I can keep it clean, because 46 is seconds ahead of everyone. 48 is quick enough per lap to go pull. But of course, first lap's gonna be a, a hair slower. You got a joker lap, but... A little slow off the line here for Q1, but I'm, I'm up where I need to be. Little touch on the outside. I'm gonna take the Joker now because I don't have the space. Oh no no no! Come on, really? Oh come on! Twice I've already gone. 
Huge deficit to open the first qualifying session. Let's see if I can come back on these guys. If I truly do have pace that I think I could have. Two mistakes already on lap number one. Joker's out of the way at least. Hopefully I don't take a penalty for corner cutting. I'm straightening it out. But we're 12 seconds down. There's been an accident up ahead. This is a good chance for me to catch up. Oop, there they are. I'll side of the track there for a little moment. Went wide. That's fourth place now. Whoop, wide. Back on track, no penalties there. Down 14 seconds, I lost two seconds on that lap. Driving cautiously here, just trying to get something clean together and see where we're at after those mistakes. And yeah, I gained two seconds back there, so. And that was driving conservatively. Okay, so that was driving very conservatively. I really came back on those last couple laps, uh, pulling some time back. Two mistakes, though, initially put me 14 seconds down. I end up finishing 13 seconds down overall, but only 11 seconds to second and third. And those are some of the better times. I was seeing 3.9, 3.11, I was seeing 3.9 is about the best time, wasn't I? So. I actually shouldn't be last, well, I'm obviously not last here, but that'll definitely be in the back end initially, but 17th is still, I mean, that's, that's something. I'm ahead of a few drivers, so I didn't get minimum points. I should get much better points here. I mean, you take 14 seconds away from the mistakes uh, that I lost on lap number one, and we're looking at a time that is 3.06. So... Shave off 14 seconds for the mistakes, and I'm quickest by one second, and that was driving pretty conservatively. Uh, and yes, that that time, Heike, the top two times came from my group. The third, be the fourth best time came from my group, and I was behind those guys. So uh, keep it clean, and I will easily make semifinals. On to Q2. Keep it clean. I did after the initial mistake there, and the secondary mistake right after. So I don't have to race crazy hard to have a good time here. So just be smart. Easier said than done here, but let's be smart. Now that I know I'm competitive, that was 14, 14 and a half seconds lost on lap one. Better start. Hard bump, but I've got the whole shot. Hello, bullards. <laughs> uh, 
Ah, uh, towards the back for now. Oh no! He came at me! I had the inside and he just came across the track and hit me and turned me right around. Gotta be frickin' kidding me. I wasn't even really looking to pass, I was just hitting the racing line. Ay, yay, yay. 11 seconds. Let's go ahead and take that Joker. Get it out of the way. Saved it, saved it. That's the thing I like about Tarmac. You have a chance to save it. 14 seconds up. Uh, I took the Joker. Took the Joker. 14 seconds down, which means I'm really right where I was the last race. I don't need to. Oh, I should have just taken the Joker again. Should have just taken the Joker again. There's no penalty for going twice. Other than the time loss for taking the Joker. I lost a lot more time on the mistake and set myself around again. I'm pushing too hard. That's why I drove conservatively last time. Was to not make mistakes, and here I am. I make two mistakes pushing too hard trying to pull back time. And now I will be at the bottom end of the standings here. Semi-finals. Gonna be a bit harder to reach now. I'm gonna have to have two really good third and fourth sessions. And just not get involved in racing. Problem is the other cars and I are at different pace. I really need a good hole shot here in the last one. If I could pull back some time here in the last couple laps. better final lap but much slower than last time that was four mistakes one a collision and then a couple on my own more mistakes more time lost other times are even better three or four for Samuelson I was three seconds better than the first round of anyone Yeah, those were the fastest times. Again, the other four riders were all in the top five. And I was, of course, last. It's not the place I want to be. On to Q3. I've got to get into the top five or so if I'm going to get into the semifinals in both of these two races. heavy collision that I took there uh, when that guy spun me out. I was just driving straight ahead and he came across the track. Uh, these things are so unstable that there was literally nothing I could do to save that one. And then it put me into the barrier on the side and that made it worse. Got my work cut out for me now. There's still hope. Certainly have the pace if I can get a clean race. But this. 
this vehicle has been so hard for me to get clean races. I've I've only had two or three clean races the entire season. We've never made it to the semifinals yet. This would be a good time to make it happen. Come on. Sorry from the outside. Oh, turn around again. Saved it. Not in a good position to take the Joker. Ugh, this guy's coming back at me. Down to last. Nobody's taking the Joker yet. Again, I backed off. I don't want a repeat of what happened last race. Side by side! Oh! Hard collision! I had the front track, but he just nailed me hard. And then I just nailed him hard as he completely overshot. That car is absolutely ruining my race. Warning for corner cutting. I'm not sure how that's corner cutting, but okay. I touched the gas. That was my... That's my mistake. And there goes my race ruined. That car was already ruining my race. And he hit me, what, three times already? Two times already? No gas, just gravel. Two wheels on tarmac, two wheels on gravel, and that's my mistake, and my day's ruined. My day's ruined. Now I'm just making mistakes because I am flustered. <laughs> Do you get flustered too? Have you tried this game yet? It is, it's, it's difficult. By the way, if you've forgotten, I have all assists off. So this is literally maximum difficulty. And the game's difficult already. I mean, I've, I've watched others. I've watched others and they have struggled mightily where in the previous game. They did excellent. I did excellent in the previous game. stayed calm after the mistake earlier, but I was just, I was mad about that guy taking me out. Same time as the last race, exact, 331 again. After getting taken out, getting just slammed into multiple times, I'm assuming that was Hardy. I'm surprised he didn't get a penalty. 305 for Heike. Not sure why I'm in Heike's group, but. One last, one last run. Even a win here, and I don't think I'll have enough to get out into the semifinal. Just well too far down the standings. But it would be nice, it would be nice. Pulled it off last time. We got a win on the final qualifier. Can I do it this time? OK. 
okay start. Not a great one though. I'm not gonna have the whole shot here. Ooh. Oh, I went too wide holding the position. Damn it. I was a little late and I was just trying to regain something of a position, staying to the outside. I was trying to avoid contact. I was too wide and missed entirely. So, time trial. Come on, let's go. Clean air. Joker's done. Everybody else has got to go. We can gain time here. It's not all lost yet, but I'm definitely not going to win. Can I get a competitive time? The first one. The first one was surprisingly my best so far in that I was above four or five cars. Oh! The bullard took me out! That's my bad for being that far over. I know the line I need to take now. I've got that figured out, but I didn't take that line. 15 seconds down, that's right back to where we were first lap. Uh, first qualifying. There was no gas at all, that just lost right in. I turned too tight. It wasn't quite as tight to the apex as I needed to be, which meant I had to turn a little harder through there and with the gravel, even though 0% gas, it was still enough to go around. Not a huge time loss, but time loss nonetheless. Oh, again! I was too good of a line. I, I touched the apex just a little. And that's what did me in that time. It's, it's it's amazing how unstable. Oop, Joker, twice. At least I made up for it this time. Last time, remember, I did that and ended up spinning myself out and losing a lot of time. Here, I just ended up double jokering. Another mistake. It's mostly just because I know it's over at this point. Talk it through, I'm not concentrating as hard. Gaining time here. Really good lap. It would have been nice if I could have uh, run this sort of lap because this is the kind of lap that was faster than everybody else. Uh, that wasn't good. Had a little too much speed there. Lost a little bit. Ended up with the same time, but that was a lot of mistakes to get to that time this time. So I, I came back a little bit in the end. I think my, my fourth lap was probably pretty good. <sighs> that's that's not good overall, though. Yeah, 47, and I definitely lost over a second. Wow, some of them, though, were hit 44 or 45. I don't know why my group was the fastest every time, though. That was a little strange that my group was so fast, comparatively. That's not last on that one, but that's still going to be last overall. Yeah. 100 points. Only above last twice. Averaged 19th to get to uh, those 100 points. So that's, uh, that's not going to get the job done. Top qualifier is Johansson. No wins, though, for Johansson. Interesting how that one worked out. That's a pretty competitive group. It's really anybody's race here. Season finished without a single semifinal appearance. We're going to have another season in this car, so I'm going to get a second chance to do better. 
No, 42,000. Championship results, I'm the only driver in the championship to not score any points. Yikes. Ooh, relegation. I'm going back down to open. That makes sense. I was in last place. So I'm going to drop back down to the lower tier next season, which means if I can get a clean race in this thing, I should easily win. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I, I didn't think about that part coming, and there it is. Sure enough. Damage is done. Well, that's season two to an end. Next, we're going to move back over into Rally. Uh, we're going to move into a new car classification. Let's take a look at the garage real quick. Uh, so last time uh, we were in the front wheel drive H2 category, we're going to be moving on to the rear wheel drive uh, H2 category this time, which is the most difficult. So uh, I will have my choice of the Ford Escort, the Alpine Renault, the Fiat 131 Abarth, the Opel Cadet, and that's it. So those four cars, uh, one of those four cars will be my next rally season, but then we're going to return to the cross cart next time around. Uh, but in a lower racing tier, so that'll be interesting. But that's going to do it for this episode of Decathlon Gamer. And remember, I'm aiming for the best of the best. I've got a long journey ahead of me, so be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to hit subscribe, and I'll check you out next time. Bye for now.